Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing uh, math uh, challenge where the idea here is to count the total number of squares on this chessboard. Now, I'm not just talking about the smaller squares here. Let's just assume that this is going to be an 8 by 8 square. Okay, let's just say this is an 8 by 8 square. Now, as I said, I'm not just talking about the smaller squares that you see. I'm talking about any square that you can see on a chessboard. Like for example, this right here would be an example of a 2 by 2 square. Right? So you have to count how many 2 by 2 squares are there as well. And uh, uh, this could be an example of a, uh, you know, 3 by 3 square. Right? So a 4 by 4 square is also possible. A 5 by 5 square is also possible. So the idea here is uh, you've got to count how many... Okay, let's just do one take for this. I, I made a mistake. <coughs> let's, let's just last take. <coughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this math challenge number 8 where the challenge is to count the number of squares on a chessboard, right? Now I'm, just, I'm not talking about the smaller squares here. I am talking about any square that you can see on this chessboard. Like, like for example, let's just say this is uh, an 8 by 8 square, right? Because there are 8 here and 8 there. Cool. Now, I'm not just talking about the one by one squares that, that are here, like one, two, three, four, five. I am talking about two by two squares as well. Like a two by two square is going to be what? This is an example of a two by two square. Uh, there is also going to be a three by three square here, right? Like, for example, let's just say this is um, going to be a three by three square. Uh, you can also find many four by four squares here, five by five squares here. So you have got to count all those squares. Now, there is going to be a pattern and then we are also going to derive a formula today. Like for example, even if the question is, uh, has given you a 20 by 20 square and you want to count how many total squares are there on a 20 by 20 square grid, you will have a formula. But then I'm not just gonna throw a formula uh, at you. I'm going to help you understand the technique of pattern recognition and we will be able to derive that formula together. Okay, so come on. Uh, the idea first is to reduce the challenge a little bit and observe the pattern by taking a smaller, uh, uh, you know, square grid. So what I'm going to do now is take this uh, three by three square grid, right? So first let's count how many total one by one squares are there. One by one. So this right here is going to be, you can see three here, three here. So this is a three by three uh, uh, square uh, grid. So how many one by one squares are there? Well, this is simple. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So they are total nine such squares. So nine uh, one by one squares are there. Now there will also be some two by two squares which are possible, right? Like let's take this example. So this right here, as you can see, it has been highlighted. This is going to be the first two by two square this right here is the second two by two square and then you will also have this uh, two by two square as well so this is the third one and this right here as you can see is going to be the fourth two by two square so how many two by two squares are there two by two as you can see they are going to be four number of squares right now lastly there will also be a three by three square right but how many three by three squares are there of course this one has got to be the simplest of all there's just one three by three square so now if i were to count all of them you have seen it how many one by one squares were there there were nine such squares yeah how many two by two squares were there there were four such squares right we had a look at them and we also counted them and how many three by three squares were there there is only one such square okay now we are looking at squares and we also have square numbers here. I'm sure you, you must have noticed it. Like nine is nothing but three square. Four here is nothing but two square. One here is nothing but one square. Could it be really that simple? Counting squares is going to point us to squares in math. Yeah, let's just uh, increase up of the number of squares. Let's go ahead and observe this time. Uh, four by four square, right? So how many one by one would be there? Come on, let's let's go ahead and, and, and count it all. So how many one by one squares will be there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen one by one squares are there. 
Okay, now how many 2 by 2 squares are going to be there? Again, let's just do a manual count. I'm sure uh, we will be able to realize the pattern by the end of this counting. So this is going to be your first uh, 2 by 2 square. And then I'll rub this out. This is going to be your second one. Yeah. And this is going to be your third one. And this was the first one. Let's keep it as it is. Right. So here you have three. And then this is going to be the fourth one. This right here is going to be the fifth one. And this right here is going to be the sixth and this is your seventh this is your eighth and this is your ninth so there are nine two by two squares okay so i think you you guys are going to where we think we are going how many three by three squares will be there any guesses i'm sure you can guess it they are going to be four i believe come on let's check it out this is going to be the first three by three square right this is the first one and this right here is going to be the second uh, 3 by 3 square. And this is going to be the third 3 by 3 square. And this is going to be the fourth one. So as we predicted, there are four uh, uh, 3 by 3 squares. And how many 4 by 4? Well, of course, there's just going to be one such square. So I, I believe you've understood the pattern, right? Like, look, all these are squares. One square, two square, three square four square and if we were to up up you know up add how many total squares were there so in a four by four square grid i have a total of one plus four plus nine plus sixteen well if i were to put it in a format which is easy for me to derive the formula this can be written like one square plus two square plus three square plus four square and this is going to be how much let's just do a manual count first so this will be what a nine plus one ten uh, so total 30 such squares are there. So in a 4 by 4 square, I have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. And what happened in a 3 by 3 square? So total squares here are going to be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. And we were talking about a 3 by 3 square. So this is going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9. And as you can see, there will be a total of 14. So can the formula be really that simple? Yeah, can okay, the formula be really that simple? In a n by n square, I believe the total number of squares are going to be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square all the way up till n square. Because when we were looking at a 4 by 4 square, it was 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square, right? When we were looking at a 3 by 3, it was 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Now, if we were to like, like, you know, check the pattern for a 5 by 5 as well. I'm sure uh, we will uh, come up with this formula. So uh, now looking at a chessboard, a chessboard is what? An 8 by 8 square. And this is going to be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square plus 7 square plus 8 square. All we've got to do now is add these up. So this is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 plus 49 plus 64. Now you must be saying, hey, come on. You can't expect me to add up all of these. You've got to make my life even more simpler. And there is a formula for this. Come on. Uh, 1 square plus 2 square plus all the way up till n square. There is a formula which says n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. All right. So till 8, if you want to add these up in the place of n. So we generally write it like sigma. Sigma is the notation which is used for summation. So 1 square plus 2 square plus on and on up till 8 square in a short way is written as sigma 8 squared. So the answer is going to be 8 into 8 plus 1 into 2 times 8 is going to be 16. 16 plus 1, 17 divided by 6. So this is 8 times 9 times 17 divided by 6, 3 times 2, sorry, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 3 times 3, 9. So 12 multiplied with 17 these many total squares would be there on a chessboard. This was amazing, right? So you've seen how in math we observe patterns and using those patterns, we derive formulas like this, right? We have a homework question for you as well. Now you'll be easily able to do this, right? So you have to find the total number of squares on a 10 by 10 square grid. 
use the formula. I'm sure you've understood that. And let me know your answers in the comments. And then lastly, guys, if you liked what you've seen today, hit that like button. It'll mean a lot to us. Share it with your friends as well. I mean, come on, this was an amazing math problem. And then you were able to observe these patterns and derive a formula on your own. And lastly, if you still haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.